Nicknamed Campy, Roy Campanella was a Philadelphia native. He played in the Negro Leagues and Mexican League for nine years before entering the minor leagues in 1946. He made his Major League Baseball debut in 1948 for the Brooklyn Dodgers. He played with them until 1957. His playing career ended because of a car accident in January 1958, which tragically paralyzed him. He began his Negro League baseball career with the Washington Elite Giants at age 15. He moved with them to Baltimore and was a star player for them until 1945. He played with the Monterey Sultans of the Mexican League in 1942 and 1943 before returning to the Elite Giants for the 44 and 45 seasons. He also played in Venezuela. In 1946 and 1947, he played in the Dodgers organization with the Nashua Dodgers and Montreal Royals. After starting the 1948 season with Brooklyn, he was assigned to the St. Paul Saints, but he later returned to the Dodgers in the month of July. He was selected to every All-Star game from 1949 to 1956. In 1950, he homered in five straight games. He was named the National League Most Valuable Player three times in 1951, 1953, and 1955. He hit better than 300 with more than 30 home runs and over 100 runs batted in in each of those seasons. His 142 runs batted in in 1953 are still the second most in franchise history. He threw out 57% of baseball runners during his career, his, the highest by any catcher in Major League history. He helped the Dodgers win their first World Series championship in 1955. He caught three no-hitters in his career, two by Carl Erskine and one by Sal McGlee. The Dodgers moved to Los Angeles after the 1957 season, but he never played a game there because of his automobile accident. After his playing career, he remained involved with the Dodgers as an assistant supervisor of scouting and as a special coach and mentor to the young catchers in the organization. He later worked as an assistant to the director of community relations, Don Newcomb, his former battery mate and longtime friend. He was named to the National Baseball Hall of Fame in 1969. Pampy passed away in 1993. Please subscribe and come again to my channel for more vintage baseball players.